So welcome to this third tutorial on PSCAD on this 13 feeder bus system. So last last on the second video we talked a little bit about the multimeter. So just to recap a little bit, if you go to components, right here you have the multimeter. If you click on it, you can actually drag it and place it over here, but you have to break the circuit to put it on. The nice thing about it is you can select the measurements that you want and once you select them you can actually put names on it so that's what i have on my multimeters right here see how i have signal names for each one the next step will be to click on the signal button and then click on it uh, put it on the canvas and then have this value button this one over here and just drag it over here and then just to connect it you click on wire node left click where you start and then right click where you finish and that's it you click escape and right here you can change the name of the signal to any of the signal measurements that you want and there you go this is how i created these three so once you do that the next thing you can do is select on this value and then click on graph meter and controls and then the one that says add overlay graph with signal you can place it on the bottom and what you can do is on another signal, just like click on the value button and then while you hold control, you can place it over over there and see how the values are already there. And for example, just click on the x-axis and change the range of your plot so it's not like super crowded. And this is what I have on the top one, right? So I'm just gonna delete this because it's something that I already did. Now we start the tutorial. So this tutorial is gonna teach you how to use the plots and save the the data into other um, apps and how to play with them. So, for example, we have this graph, and if you click on copy data to clipboard, you, there you have two options the one that says all or, or the one that says visible area. If you click on all, you have the array throughout all the time, time not only what you see on the scope, so it will be from zero to three seconds. But if you click on copy data to clipboard and click on visible area, you're just going to have the range sets from 2.5 to 3. So that's something that is on personal preference. And once you select that copy, the visible area, you can go to Excel. And on an empty, on an empty column, you can just click paste and see how it already did uh, put my data on this side. Right here, how I have like domain. See how I have it right here? But the thing that you will notice is right here, like, let me, give me one moment. For you on this book, so if you click on it, you have everything on one single column, which is not good. What you can do is select it, and then go to data, and then go to text to columns, and then go click on delimiter, and then click on comma, just how to separate it, it will give you a data preview, it's actually pretty nice. And then just click finish and see how it already separated for me. This is super nice and you can like, you can already import this into MANA, which we'll do later. Uh, and this is what I have over here. So I have all these measurements from one single plot and one single, and one single set of signals. I can select all the data that I want. It can be the power. It can be, I have everything, voltage, current, power. And now we move to MATLAB. So give me one second. So now with MATLAB, you can use the XLS read um, button to actually import my actual data over here. And once I have it over here, I can use this data to select all the columns. So say, save each column into a single array and actually plot it and find, for example, other stuff. So give me one second while I run. So what's nice about this is you have already your data and you have like one array for each of the columns that we had in Excel. And now you can actually plot it. So right here, I actually plot only for example, just a face-to-face -face, uh, voltage. And I have Matla, what I like is like, you, it gives you options to do all kinds of like the title, the legend, the grid and everything. And you can actually do calculations with this data as well. So the arrays that I saved, for the for the uh, phase voltage right here i have it like for example i'm doing the rms and once i run it it gives me the rms of each value and this is like for all the values i can do other stuff like the average the mean and i'm going to show you how it looks on the bar so see over here look at this plot this plot is already the plot that 
just like the one we had on PS CAD. So let's actually compare them. These are the voltages, and I have like my first voltage, my second phase voltage, and my third phase voltage, and see the range and the amplitude is like from 3.5 to negative 3.5, and from the time 2.5 to 3. And see how I basically did in MATLAB this same plot. It's actually super nice because here in PSCAD, like imagine having a bunch of these ones, it will be a nightmare. But in MATLAB, it gives you the option to like have all these, all these different plots in, into a same file. And only with this, just the single uh, plot, and then all of these signals. Like I could change, for example, the value of the. I could run like a different measurements, a different signal, and actually save that into Excel, which is what I have, which is exactly what I have. Like I have face-to-face -face voltage, line-to-line -line voltage, instantaneous current power, reactive power, RMS voltage, current RMS, and even the phases. So this is an amazing value. And once I close PSCAD, I can save my book and actually go back, go back to MATLAB, and actually I don't have to worry about having PSCAD and all of these plots because right here I already like did all the plots for each of my or for each of my values and actually gives you these very nice values and you actually play with all the parameters. This is the end result. It gives you a super nice um both uh super nice plots and MATLAB is just you can incorporate it to simulink or whatever but that may come up in, in later tutorials. So that's it for me today. Thank you.